Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you are new, then welcome to this channel. Well, today we are gonna go through label from Tikinter as these are the series of the basics of the Tikinter and later we are gonna follow some projects. But in this session, I am gonna tell you all about label, like what is a label and how to create a label and how to show the label in the window and how to configure and how to manage that particular label and some examples for you guys. So, what do you guys think a label is in general? Label means a thing that represents something, right? That represents your name or your address or your phone number, whatever. The thing that is representing in the form of text is nothing but a label. Like when it comes to Tkinter, even Tkinter label is nothing but a text that we're going to represent in this interface, in this UI interface, okay? So, I hope you guys understood what is a label. Now, Let's see how to create a label. So here, in order to create a label, we have to follow some syntax. Like in the previous session, we actually created a window, right? For that, we created a window variable and we actually called a TK function and we created a variable and we managed creating that window. And we also configured that window. If you didn't watch that Windows session, then go back to this playlist and check out this one. The link of this playlist will be in the description. While we are creating a window, we actually created a variable called window, right? Because we just need a one single window and we're going to use that one single window for everything, like in order to represent everything that we want to represent in that window, right? So in the same way, what do we do is we'll create a label and we're going to call a class label and this is a class label see l is capital okay and in that we're gonna pass the parameters of window and this label will be having some width some like the text that we want to represent is first label for example and we're gonna place that label like first and foremost thing is we are just creating in this line and in order to represent this label we have to use a method called place from python like label dot place this place is actually from this class of label right so label dot place x equal to 10 and y equal to 10 that means these two are actually coordinates and i think you know a 2d plane imagine uh, a 2d plane with which is with x axis and y axis so if you give x 10 then this will be 10 centimeters or somewhere after 10 units and y means from top somewhere around you don't worry about these things you will understand while doing while coding with me so yeah let's get started we'll start creating a label we'll place it will represent that variable but remember here we are just creating a label and we are not representing it in order to represent it we have to use place method and this is pretty simple right and you can even use grade methods there are many more things that we can represent rather than place method so don't worry about those things for now we're gonna go through them in the coming sessions so for now let's start coding so guys in the previous session we actually created a window right window with with some background color black let me rerun this for you guys and yeah, here you see a cool window, which is a black color, right? So now it's time to create a label here. So the first and foremost thing is in order to create a label, we have to follow the syntax of the label. There is a class called label from Tkinter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called label and I'm going to call this class of label. So guys, we need a label in this window right so what are we gonna do is we're gonna call this window don't get confused between window and demo demo is actually the title of the window but not exactly the window right we need this window so what are we going to do is we're gonna call this window as parameter in this label now what happens is this label will be placed in this window for example if you change the variable name like window to w we're gonna pass this w here okay so now we have a window and now we need some text right label is actually to represent a text so what will be the text so text equal to hey okay just for fun you can play with those text strings whatever and let's see what happens if you run this one you're not gonna see anything because the background color is black and the text is also black so now I want to change this text color to white. So for that, there is a parameter called foreground color. And just give 
you can use hashtags you can just give color name whatever ways you can use various kinds of ways to describe that color for now i'm going to use hashtags and if you run this one oh i think i have to close this one please don't forget to close the previous window guys it's it's gonna be a mess if you don't close it you don't know what's happening over there it's like you feel like it's running but you cannot see the output so close this one okay though you give this foreground color to white we cannot see the text why we cannot see the text why do you know why because we are not placing that label over there we are just creating a variable we're just creating a variable called label we created a label from there and we are not showing that on window so for that what we have to do there is a method called place so label dot place x equal to some 10 or something y is equal to some number and if you save this and run this you have to close the previous window guys now see okay it's a mess i know you cannot see hay over there okay let's change this color background color to white for a while so that it will be easy for us to understand close the previous window pre-run this one okay now what's wrong with this color foreground let me delete this one previous window close hmm. pretty simple right okay so we created a text with some window and in the window and the text is actually hey right so now if you want to change this background color of the text you can just give bg color bg color equal to oh this is not bg color this is actually bg right bg color is a variable that we created and bg is the default one so bg is one two three four five six hash code oh close the previous one okay and now we want to change this foreground color right so for that there is fg hash f f f and save this one close the previous window and rerun it hmm. pretty nice but now i want to change this font and font size of this text so for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use font and inside brackets and font equal to you have to give arial bold you can give whatever font you want for now i'm using this one and the size will be for example 50 let's see how this looks mm. oh yeah it's looking cool Oh, if you want to increase the width and height of this one, you can even do that. Okay, how are we going to do that? See, window. Uh, like it's better to give height and width parameters here. So height equal to, for example, 1. Actually, default size is 1. So I'm going to give 2. And width is maybe 15 or 10, whatever. Let's see how this looks. You're just gonna play with the numbers in order to get the correct one or desired one. Hmm. I think you understood. See, the, now the label size increased but the text size remained the same. The space increased actually. See, the height is 2 now and the width is 10 now, right? And you can even change the coordinates of X and Y to place this. If you want to place this thing to the center, you can do that as well. And one more thing is I have to tell you one more thing. There is a property called anchor. And what it does is, for example, if you give anchor equal to, for example, northwest. See, 
see anchor is nothing but it will specify the position of the text like if you want your text to be positioned inside that label this is the entire label and this is the text that we are representing and if you say northwest it will go north and it will settle at west if you want to keep this text at for example south you can just give s here see it is on south and you can go east you can go west you can go southwest you can go wherever in whatever direction you want if you want your text to be like that you can do you can play with these parameters and this anchor is the one who is responsible to position your text and the default is actually it will be at center so if you want to keep this text at center you can just give center here and it will do the job for you done and this default is center if you if you want that text to be at center you don't have to specify that this must be in center it will do that default so you don't we don't need this for now because we need the text to be at center you can just change the background color you can just can just change the foreground color or you can just create a variable called background color like i did you can just give font background color or font foreground color whatever you can just change the colors here and you can represent them here using that single variable if you want you can do that so this is all about labels we know what is a label we know how to create a label we know how to show the label in the window and we also know how to configure a label and you can just change this one to label one and give name as your first name for example first name and this will be label one dot place. Remember guys, whenever you're creating that label, it must get placed in the window that you want. So give the same name label one dot place means it will go to that label one and it will place that label in this direction. Okay. Now let's create label two as well as for example, last name, label two, this will be last name and if you run this one there will be a defect what is that you created a label first name you gave some background color okay everything is fine you created a last name label and you created both labels but if you observe those are in the same place label one dot place x is 10 y is 10 label two is also it's like first name is on like last name is on top of first name it's like those two are actually on top together so as this is a 2d plane you cannot see the first name and last name but if you wanted to see you have to change the x and y axis names right especially when it comes to label 2 for example let's keep um, y as for example 30 it will go a little down i think yeah but you have to make it a bit more 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 so how about now oh my god okay let's give 60 hmm okay hmm yeah, in this way, you can change the label names, you can change, you can configure them and you can place them. And yeah, you can play with them. You can do a lot more with these labels. But these are the basic stuff that you have to follow in order to create your own label and in order to configure it. Okay, so this is all about labels and this is all about label configuration. Now you know how to create a label, you know how to set the height and width of the label and you know how to change the text of the label and you even know how to change the font and you know a lot about label now right i hope you learned something new about label in this session in the next session i'm gonna go through some more interesting stuff about taking or and yeah if you like this video then hit that cute little like button and if you're new to my channel then subscribe to this channel